Hello, I'm going to talk about face relation today. I'll focus on pairing uh, different audio files. So let's take, for example, a perfect situation where you have a sine wave. A sine wave is a very streamlined waveform. And then maybe you have a middle line. So you have the top part is a positive and the bottom part is a negative. So it goes sinually. If you take another sine wave, perfect sine wave, which has, has exact timing as the first sine wave, and you put the timing exactly the same, those two are going to sum up constructively. So you're going to get more richer and stronger sound, maybe louder sound as well, because they're going to be exactly the same sound, wave, so they're going to become louder. So sometimes when you're sampling, you might take two kick drums, which maybe one has more sub bass and the other one has more highs, and you want to sum them together to get that harmonic content. When you put them together, uh, you might find that you're not getting the harmonic content that you're looking for. And you might find maybe it is it become even more weaker or duller, or maybe there's no sound at all. And that means that the waveforms of those two kick drums are facing opposite direction. They are not moving on the same direction. Maybe the top one is, you know, the positive, when the positive side is going up, the bottom one, the, ne the positive, the, the negative side is going down. So they are like this. And when they are opposite of each other, then they tend to cancel. And another situation is they might not be really opposite of each other, but the timing of each sine wave might be different with few seconds, milliseconds or seconds. And it means that you might get a very weak sound or you're not going to get that rich harmonic content that you're looking for. So the best thing to do is every software has a face correlation meter plugin. Just put it on one of the kicks, engage the polarity button, and it's going to flip the waves of the bottom kick or the top kick so that they can align and that way, you, you know, the sound is going to change. First of all, if you monitor with your ears, and when you look visually, you'll see that the waves have flipped and they are pairing now the same direction. This situation also occurs when you have multiple miking. For example, in a drum kit, when you're miking a snare, you normally mic a top mic and a bottom mic. So when the drummer hits the snare, the first hit, you find that the skin of the snare normally depresses or goes down. It means that the bottom mic records first the sound which is going down and the top one records the sound which is coming up. Like a speaker cone goes up and down. So let's say one mic is recording the outside and the other one is inside. So those are two opposite timing and you'll find that there's a high chance that those two mics are going to have face relation issues. So before you mix any song or any audio files, it's important to do those housekeeping where you, you have to zoom in and use your ears to actually listen and mute one of the tracks that you're trying to pair, maybe it's two kicks, and listen and mute the other one and feel the energy, how it feels. Or otherwise, just zoom in and visually have a look to see if there's a problem with the face. Thank you.